Hello and welcome back everyone to my island in the sun. Thank you for tuning in to A Taste of St. Martin. Today we have pan shared red snapper simmered in a tomato and mushroom based sauce on the menu. I already pre-washed my red snapper with lemon and vinegar. Make sure to pat dry your fish before seasoning. I have in this bowl sazon, complete seasoning, adobo, onion and garlic powder, smoked paprika. I'm adding some avocado oil to the seasoning to create a rub. You want to continue to add the oil until you get the consistency you wanted. This was about four tablespoons to five tablespoons of avocado oil. Make sure all of your ingredients with the oil is thoroughly mixed together. Before adding the rub seasoning to the snapper, go ahead and cut some shallow slits into the skin of the fish. Then begin to add the rub to the snapper. Get the rub into those slits also. Baste the snapper thoroughly by rubbing all over. Then turn the fish over and do the same. You want to let your fish marinate overnight, but if you press for time, you don't want to do that. You want to at least leave your fish rest for about an hour. While the snapper is marinating, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping the rest of my ingredients. I have here some fresh dill, thyme, rosemary, ginger and garlic and I'm going to cut up some um, onions in red peppers and some tomatoes. I love mushrooms so I'm going to go ahead and add some to my dish. To your skillet add some oil i'm adding some avocado oil you can also use some olive oil or oil of your choice once the oil is heated you can go ahead and add your red snapper i'm adding some garlic to the oil as well as some pieces of rosemary i typically do this whenever i'm frying fish and it just enhances the flavor um, to the fish you want to go ahead and sear the fish on each side for about anywhere from four to eight minutes I'm checking it periodically to make sure that it's turning brown. At this point, you want to go ahead and remove your snapper. Then add the remainder of your chopped ingredients, except the tomatoes and the um, mushrooms. Make sure you get all of that scrap from the bottom of your skillet. You want that. That is um, flavor that you see there. Once you clear the bottom of the skillet, then you want to add the tomatoes. Stir your vegetables for about 2-3 minutes. Then I typically go back to the dish or the bowl that you had your raw meat in and add some water to that. I want the remaining seasoning. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my snapper back into my gravy. I'm going to take some of these vegetables from down in the skillet and add it to my snapper as well as take some of the gravy and baste your snapper well. I 
at the very end is when I add in the mushrooms. Add your cover to your skillet and you want to leave it simmer anywhere from three to five minutes. It smells so good. I pair the red snapper with some creamy mashed potatoes and some steamed broccoli. The fish turned out well and very delicious. I hope you decide to try this dish soon. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Remember, a link for the full recipe will be provided in the description section below. Until next time, always cooking, always progressing.